Sometime around the 1940s, a Russian physicist, Mikhail Leontovich, introduced an equation that relates the tangential electric fields to the magnetic fields on the surface of the conducting medium. And this relationship is based on Ohm's law, which we are familiar with. So V is equal to IR. And if we correlate this equation with frequency domain electromagnetic fields, the voltage corresponds to the electric field that is tangential to the conducting, conducting surface. So in the frequency domains, I'm going to put a tilde over it. And tan for the subscript, because it's tangential, the electric field oriented tangential, or parallel to the surface of the Earth. So here, this might be E tan, for example, if this is the surface of the Earth. And the current corresponds to the magnetic field, tangential as well. And the resistance R is going to be written as eta, the characteristic impedance of the conducting material. The value of eta can depend on the frequency of, of the electromagnetic wave. So we're going to write this as a function of omega. So this material here has, if this is air, and this is our ground, has some eta characteristic impedance. Now, if you look at Snell's law, you will find that any wave, if this is our surface again, that is transmitted into a good conductor, so here if we have some incident wave, and it's incident on this ground, any part that is transmitted into a good conductor is going to propagate straight downwards. And that's from Snell's law. If we look at K of the air and multiply it sine, sine of the incident angle, which is relative to the normal, and compare that to beta uh, for the ocean, the good conductor, or ground, in this case we're considering the ground, and sine of theta t, you can see theta t, if you plug in values, theta t is going to be pretty close to 90 degrees. So it's going to propagate straight downwards. Sorry, zero degrees. So it'll propagate straight downwards and set relative to the normal. In other words, in the conductor, the transmitted electric field will be a plane wave propagating straight downwards. And the tangential electric and magnetic fields at the surface of the conductor must be 90 degrees to each other since it consti they constitute a plane wave. We need to account for this in our equation. We can't just write E tangential is equal to H tangential times eta because it won't take into account that we need a 90 degrees orientation change between the E and H fields. So, there is a way we can account for this if we take n hat, which is the surface normal, so this would be n hat, crossed with h tangential. This n crossed with h will make sure that we get the correct orientation for E tan. So I'm going to put eta a function of omega. So this is the equation that we're going to use. This is what Leontovich came up with in the 1940s. And this equation is also what's known as the surface impedance boundary condition. Now, how would you use this equation along the surface of the ground in our FDTD grid? Spend a minute and see if you can apply this equation to our grid. Both figure out what to use for each term and where we should apply it in the grid.